Well, hi folks on Good Friday. Uh, I'm going to see if I can record outside and uh, hopefully not too much wind noise. Just had a phone call from our daughter, Jenny, and she started off with Happy Good Friday, which uh, Jane and I commented, that's a bit of a funny thing to say, isn't it? And she said, well, yes, it's Good Friday. So even though it's a sad day for Jesus, it's a happy day for us. It's a good day for us. And I thought that's not a bad thing to just ponder on for a moment. Why we call it Good Friday, because of the wonderful thing that Jesus has done for us as he died on the cross. So today, can I just encourage you to have a little think about the cross, about what it means for you and for me, about all that Jesus did as he went to his death for us and for our salvation. You could, of course, sit down and read the Bible stories and uh, have a think about the meaning of those for each of us. Attached to this email uh, is a bit of the wonderful poem called The Dream of the Rude, the oldest poem uh, in the English language. So you could sit and read that, particularly if you like poetry and uh, imagery and things like that. You could, of course, spend time praying uh, and thanking the Lord for what he's done for each of us on today, Good Friday. And also can I encourage you, particularly if you've used Zoom before or uh, video conferencing things, uh, if you'd like to connect up with us at three o'clock, uh, just to have a little service for Good Friday. Keith Rush has suggested and uh, is organising that for us. So do connect up with Zoom, uh, click on the links in the email. So thanks for listening today and uh, I wish you all a good, good Friday.